what are the conditions and structures that must be in place for you to effectively delegate some task in your studio or school in an effective way? In other words, how do we best support that person? What is an environment in which they'll be able to thrive and actually do that job well? So there's a couple of things I found that have kept my people happy and they have the feeling that they're well supported in the job that they've got to do. Whether it's handling a difficult conversation at the front desk, whether it's doing some marketing task, whether it's doing invoicing, some backend admin task, or if it's a teacher knowing how they need to teach a specific program in the school. So first off, first condition structure that must be in place. I think you must have at least bi-weekly meetings in place with a team member that you're delegating stuff to, important stuff to. If you're delegating like, hey, go sweep the floor, probably don't need a bi-weekly meeting in place for that person. But if they're doing any of the things I just mentioned a second ago, I think you need to have at least a bi-weekly meeting. And if you really want to mentor that person into someone that you can delegate a lot of stuff to and sleep easy at night, knowing that the job will get done well, you probably need to be at a weekly meeting. And I will tell you, that my main two team members, weekly meetings in some cases for years with those people. So that's the first thing. Second thing, you must have a system for creating systems. There needs to be an instruction manual for your music school, and there must be a system in place, a set of rules for what the systems in that instruction manual look like. So there has to be a defined procedure for creating procedures. There has to be a defined system for creating systems. I think this on its face is self-explanatory. I'm not going to belabor this point. Finally, you must have this fine systems in place for those AORs. If we know that th there must be a system for systems, it implies that there will be systems in place. But there are people who've come to me for consulting or coaching or things of that nature, and I get into their business and they're still not doing it. And I'm not dogging on them. They're probably listening to this right now. But it's just one of those things where it's like, oh, I know I need to do that. They just don't. And I'm saying that if you expect people to know how to confidently look a parent in the face and help that parent feel good about the school's policies, and you don't have it documented exactly what they're supposed to say, the tone in which they're supposed to say it, the email follow-up they need to send the next day that makes that parent have a second good experience, then you're just leaving it up to chance. And if you want to build a business that is somewhat predictable, where you're not putting out fires all the time, you can't leave anything up to chance. A tornado can't go through a scrapyard and create a Boeing 747. There's a lot of planning and design and work that goes into that. Similarly, you're not going to just randomly tell an employee, say, hey, shadow me for a week and see how I handle all these situations and then expect excellence. It just won't happen. You can either suffer the pain of putting out fires every day, or you can quote unquote, suffer the pain of building a systems run business. The good news about the second one is that the pain is only temporary and then the benefits flow forever. But if you choose to stay in the first one, if you choose to stay in the pain of putting out fires, that's just gonna be for the rest of your career.